yo, it's kind of been a sec. Not really, it's been a week, but it's been a sec since I picked up this camera. It's a lovely Monday morning here, but I should be filming this a lot sooner. I don't know, I was just busy this weekend. I also just chopped my hair like completely 30 minutes ago, but zero relevance to the video, but um, I finally got kill bills that I wanted for a while, so I wanted to show those off. Uh, you also saw the topic yourselves when you clicked on this video, but I've always been a big fan of customizing your workspaces. Uh, I had like a whole um, like random Frank Pete that set of his in, uh, in, in like ninth grade at the beginning of high school. I was really into like desk setups. Uh, that's actually what got me into keyboards in the first place. This isn't mechanical, but yeah, you get what I mean. Uh, so I recently have been looking into configuring my Mac setup into something a little bit more cool and something that, um, is unique just because like Mac is Mac, like everyone has a really, really similar looking setup. Like the most you can do is change the colors, change the background, whatever, right? But yeah, I was looking into this, like just customization for Macs and I couldn't really find that much documentation. So this is kind of the start of my journey. Uh, this is like definitely not over, but this is like maybe like three, two, three weeks, just like what I've played around with a bunch of different stuff and I've settled on what I've liked. So let me show you all what I got going. Um, I do have the fish eye on right now because I hadn't pulled this guy out in a while. So I'm gonna switch this out uh, to my normal lens, but we'll be back and running in a sec. And we should be good to go back on the, the main cam. Okay, so um, for context, just so no one asks this, because I swear someone asks it every video, it's all running on this guy. This is my MacBook uh, Pro, M1 Pro. Uh, it's not like the greatest, but it works. It's, I've used it for a while. It has 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage. Yeah, so I better not see anyone asking uh, what my computer is. But here we go. Uh, this, okay, I don't really know how to approach this, but let me just start off with all the important bits. I had to get a new wallpaper, there's just no oil painting, uh, ripped off of Pinterest. But, um, I think the first thing you'll notice here is the, what is it, the little, the little taskbar at the top. We've replaced the default Apple taskbar. Um, normally you can't really, like, get rid of this, like, Apple taskbar. But uh, you can have it like to where it only shows if you like move your mouse up on there. So yeah, that's what I have going on. And taskbar itself is ran with Ubershift, Ubersicht. Uh, I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's this plugin, and this is Simple Bar. Um, I really enjoy it. Uh, there's a like for those of you that are like actually into customization for Mac and stuff. I'm sure some of y'all use um, what is it? sketchy bar but I couldn't get my sketchy bar config as polished as I wanted to uh, and yeah I really like how simple bar looks let me pull up my simple bar settings real quick here they are for those of you that are interested it's just a uh, grub box dark with no colors on and yeah that's pretty much it now for uh, I guess like one of the biggest things I actually want to turn on this map. Um, I have a window manager going on here, so, uh, let's say I pull up my Firefox. My Firefox will automatically maximize. I was looking at a post about something, a setting that I wanted to do just on this video itself, actually. But, uh, yeah, it maximizes. If I try to drag it, it'll just reset back to maximum. Uh, let's say I open a second window. I'll open my terminal. Uh, it looks like this. It automatically splits into a half. Uh, I can move this like this. I can move it vertically. Yeah, I can pretty much do whatever I want. Um, but if I'm like using the keyboard itself, right? All I have to do is like do Control and K, and I'll switch over to the right tab, Control J, go over to the left tab, and as you can see here, I have it configured so that my cursor will follow onto whichever window I go to. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty cool, I would say. If I have control shift and I do one of the same like J or K options, I can also adjust the size of either window, um, which is pretty helpful. Uh, and then let's say I open a third tab. 
what should I uh, be using here? Let me think. I'll, I'll just open like, not photos. That's about that might dox me. Maybe like uh, Spotify. Let's open Spotify. So I have a third Spotify window here. I'm actually gonna throw this like down here, but uh, if I move like, let's say, onto my Spotify window itself, I can also resize it upwards. And oh, yeah, I, my finger's not big enough for this. I can resize it down. I can resize it up. I, it's like pretty, pretty, pretty intuitive once you have it all set up. But let's say I need like this specific window, right? I can also do Control Shift F, and that will float this guy out. So it just becomes its own window, and I can put it wherever I want to, and it won't auto format to like whatever tile setup I have. If I Control Shift F again, it'll just go back into the into the setup uh, how I want it to. Um, yeah, you can also just manually resize them. You don't really need the keyboard shortcuts, but that is, uh, what do they say? Optimal, I suppose, for uh, productivity. Um, yeah, this is a really cool tool. Uh, I was looking into aerospace because I wanted to look at um, workspaces, but honestly, I don't really have that much of a problem with the default uh, Apple workspaces. I know like the main calling is because people do have an issue with it for aerospace I think they have like their own customized workspaces, but Yeah, I don't really use or like have that many issues with like how the default Apple workspaces work. So yeah Um, I just thought this is pretty cool and some of you might enjoy it. So I wanted to show y'all uh, I can show you what my dot files look like I'll upload them uh, below as well somewhere so that y'all can uh, access them. Let me just go into like, uh, what is it? Like my key binds. This is like my key binding for uh, repositioning and stuff. But yeah, I think it's cool. Oh, I guess there's also full sizing. I can like control F and it'll maximize the window. This is different from the float cause like it'll always resize but it just maximizes it. Uh, yeah. Uh, one more thing, I know it is like annoying if everything gets resized. So for example, like my messages is not resized. Um, another thing, my settings is not resized. Just works like normal. Uh, any of those like pop-ups, like like photo previews and stuff, I have those all like so that they won't be managed by you by. And the customization is really nice. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of this setup. It's really cool. I control everything with control shift, uh, like J K O L, and then like some specific other shortcuts. But I think it's really well done. I was using this thing called Loop before, but I was a little bit less featured. So this is a uh, definitely an upgrade. I really like Yabai so far. Um, I haven't had too many issues with it, but I know like if you want, if you've been like using like. Uh, like a Rice i3 setup or something, you can use Aerospace from the go and it'll be better. Um, there are like a lot of cooler options for what you can do in um, Yabai, right? But the thing is that you have to disable system in in integrity protection on Mac, which is um, not like the greatest. It's just like a security feature that like locks down uh, your computer. And I think generally it would not be recommended to remove it unless you really know what you're doing. The only reason that I was thinking about doing it is because um, like for my my terminal, there's like this transparency option. You can like see the background, right? Um, you can also do that for like other windows if you uh, turn off system integrity protection, but I figured it wasn't the worth the trade for aesthetics. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think the setup looks really unique and cool and uh nice i'm a big fan everything's basically running grovebox uh dark if possible i kind of uh fell victim to r slash unix yeah you, you know you know the the customization reddit i was on here like literally i saw like 13 or 14 different grovebox posts and i, I just i just fell victim you know I had to I had to fall into the the grub box loophole, but yeah, I think this is really cool. I think it's definitely unique. 
I don't know about how much it'll maximize your productivity, but I will say that something that really irked me is that the sketchy bar, like bar corners will hit the, like the edge, like the bezel of your MacBook if you like open it on the like normal display. So um, I've been trying to find a workaround for that, but I haven't really found anything yet. I don't think the sketchy bar, like, or simple bar documentation is like too deep because it's just like a simple workaround. So um, I'm gonna try and find a solution with that for with sketch for that with sketchy bar, but I haven't been able, like I'm not good enough to get my sketchy bar to look like what I want it to look like yet. So yeah, it's like my one complaint with this setup so far. More personally, I'd say that. If my workspace looks really nice, then I feel more motivated to like use my workspace. And I'd say the keyboard shortcuts actually do um, help a, a good bit. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, leave this like leave me a comment or something. This is a like really simple like rundown of what I did. Uh, I'd say like generally like Yabai is really simple to install like. If you have homebrew or something, both of like everything you need is like three commands. The biggest part is just setup, and I'll leave my setup that I discovered down below. But yeah, if one of y'all, if y'all want to be a little bit more unique and have a little cool setup, this is something you can do.